or they might just chase the Jeep. A closet with a closet? What the heck? Does this inn not have any rooms? constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god, Serana. <laughs> this is the end. Oh. Spectre reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow. Proceed mobilizing now. Out. Right now. That was brutal. Holy crap. Nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out there. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you wanna play it! Alright. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. Wow. That's camera mode. Good. Out of all, huh? That's not at all what I wanted. Although... <laughs> well... That... Was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery! Run for your lives! <laughs> Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped.
Even him, only 30 nanites, wow. <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Oh, look at these graphical upgrades. Fancy. So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style, so it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah, but I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Ah. So I'm kind of controlling or attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. But I... Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's it going? Greeny, it's good to see you. What's going on tonight? We're going to play some City Skylines. I hope you and everyone have had a fantastic day, whether it was Christmas for you or not. Okay. Go. Get some cities going. I've really been, I don't know, I've just really been enjoying this game since I learned more about how to play the game better where to focus my attention and stuff. I've just been having such a good time with it. It's really fun. Yes, I did, Greeny. That looks really awesome. How did she do that? Did she, like, make it by hand or have it manufactured? Or what's the deal? How did that happen? Okay. We are going to load up. Crowd control, frozen. Oh, right. I don't know if anybody's going to feel like doing crowd control tonight. But I will have it ready just in case. Start a session. Almost forgot. We know a guy. That's awesome, Greeny. That is so cool. It looks really, really good. So I take it you're going to wear that on stream from now on. Been a pretty decent day for me. It was a little bit busy, but... Luckily, I was so exhausted last night, but uh, I went to bed early and I took a sleeping pill, so I slept pretty solidly, and I feel a whole hell of a lot better today, so that's good. Again, we know... I, oh, a signage and printing company. That's really cool. Okay, so let's see here. Send your city gifts via crowd control? Oh god. Just keep in mind, 
all those devastating meteors we've had them land on parts of the city on occasion but usually it's pretty good about keeping them away from actual builded you know built up areas hey jim how's it going it's good to see you tonight merry christmas happy christmas happy life day all that good stuff for everybody All right, uh, we're still having problems with this area down here, I see. Get that sorted eventually. I think I just expanded the metro down into there, didn't I? If I remember correct. Yeah, I did. So, you get that. Three passengers, mostly originating here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this one's not used very much yet. See how that works. Just finished watching Glass Onion, which is a sort of sequel to Knives Out. Murder mystery type story. Oh, I, I really liked Knives Out. Glass Onion, I've heard that it's got a lot of layers, but you can see right through it. CD, how's it going? It's good to see you. For those unaware, and because I just remembered, Death Stranding is free on the Epic Store. Yes, yes, that that was actually... Aaron Lar brought that to our attention on Discord earlier today. I grabbed it on the Epic Store, even though I already have it on Steam and PlayStation, I think. Actually, I might be wrong about PlayStation. I'm not sure if I do. Do I? Remember. I get... Get games everywhere. <laughs> that is the joke throughout the movie. Is it really, Greeny? That's actually hilarious. I love it. <laughs> but Daniel Craig plays as the same detective in it. Oh, that's cool. He was good in the first one. I liked it. I will have to check that out. I didn't get a chance to watch the Lego stuff, though. I'll have to try and catch that maybe on Tuesday, Wednesday. Because tomorrow's going to be another busy day. I don't know that I'm going to have time. I thought I would have time to do it today, but I just didn't. I couldn't fit it in, even though it's not all that long. But I definitely have to check it out because, I mean, Obi-Wan, Vader, the Emperor, R2 in their summer outfits, that was just amazing. why I'm so fascinated by these level crossings. I just, I guess I still can't believe that it took me so long to realize that you could make them. Damn it. How do I get people down here? People, there are industrial jobs here. Let me take a look at our education stats here. Okay, so it's looking like we need another elementary school soon. High school is okay for now. A lot of people in this area haven't graduated. You would think that they'd be willing to come work just over this way. Up here, looks like most people are graduated from... Oh, shoot. What now? Oh, a thunderstorm? Okay. That reminds me. Crowd control. I need that visible. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Greeny. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Oh, Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available.
hard to tell because of the impact burning. But I think that looks pretty flattened out. Hope all is well. I have a few cool new shirts I got for Christmas. Some of my Twitch friends would be proud to have. Atari, Mario, and Super Nintendo. Ah, oh, that's awesome, CD. Those down do sound like pretty good ones. Okay. Um, good old retro gaming love. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I would love. But I don't know how easy it would be to get my personal systems. Like, I, I never had the old Atari and Super Nintendo stuff. I was PC, like, computer right from the get-go. So I would need things like, you know, the Commodore Pet shirt and the VIC-20 and the C64 and the Amiga. Oh, what are these? Like, median, right, median with bike claims, not... Median trees and bicycle lanes, that's the one. You fixed. You, you. Be fine, that'll fix up the bus lane. Now we have to wait for these fires to be put out, and we need the rubble to be checked by the emergency services. Oh, do I? Wait. Okay, I do have, I do have fire choppers, so we should be good for getting the forest fires out. You'll have an Atari 2600, 5200, and 7800 with all your games? Damn, CD. That's awesome. What do you play them on? They work best on CRTs, don't they? I got one thing that's really, really cool. You guys will appreciate this. This neat book is not a book at all. It's actually a sampler pack of different flavors of Writer's Tears Irish Whiskey. I guess there was a road there at one point. <laughs> no, really, for me, one need, yes. But I've only ever had the Copper Pot uh, Writer's Tears. This is going to be my very first time trying Double Oak Writer's Tears. Uh, it's from a full bottle, not from one of the sampler things. And then I've also got double cask. Or, I don't think it's double cask, it's... I'd have to... What? Actually, it's right here. What is it called? There's copper pot, which is the one that I typically have. There is double oak, which is the one I'm about to drink. And cask strength, that's it, is the third one. Which I've never had and I'm curious to try at some point. I have an old CRT that still works in a nearby shop that helps me keep it in good shape so you can still play Atari these days. That's amazing. I'm kind of jealous about that too. That's really cool. Okay. Um, looks like we need to wait on these roads getting finished up. Then I'll be able to redo this residential neighborhood. I have to compliment you on your aim, Greeny. You got to hit the city this time. Thanks for that, really. <laughs> Alright, now... Let me see... How far over can we go? Can we get... 
In that case, we'll go over 12. And then we're going to come down here and can we get... Maybe we'll just do this. Go here. We'll do 90 degrees. It's going to look ugly as hell. Okay, you know what? Curved roads are going to be the savior here. Gonna come straight out 12. 12, not 10. Then we're gonna go here and curve down to there. That works. That looks okay. I do have a collection of Atari 2600 games I bought on Steam, though. Oh, is that the Atari, like, what is it, 50th anniversary or whatever the insanity is? It can't be 50 years old already, can it? At least tell me Atari is not 50 fucking years old. That can't be allowed. Oh, you know what I'm... Do it. Hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, we need that to be. No, where's. He? Yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. Just continue with the weird intersections. That'll work. People that run the shop make it a priority because they want to keep me able to use it and keep that retro gaming alive as long as they can. Yeah. Retro gaming has kind of a problem. Too many companies are not at all invested in keeping their own history alive. Really wish that would change. It's almost a big length. Go six and then connect there. So maybe I genuinely should thank you, Greeny. This actually caused a little bit of a renovation over here that I'm actually liking quite a bit. This is a little bit empty looking, but maybe I'll find something good we can do with that. I'm not referring to the giant scorch mark. I mean just the amount of space in between these roads here. But actually, you know what? Our parks. Okay. It's not quite that empty. This one. Small. Oh, 
Oh, that'll work. Look at that. And a nice ice hockey rink for the neighborhood. zone we have a lot of demand for residential and a fair amount of demand for well and this is looking like a good corner for another low density commercial development so let's come down here zone that end for these little bits that can stay that can stay and the rest of this we're gonna do residential I'll be back soon have to tend to a few things no problem but I'm glad I caught your stream relatively early yeah we just started a little while ago I'll be loading up my own cities game very nice oh my god what is this Hadron Collider Take care of your education needs with the Hadron Collider. What? We now live in CERN. That's on an entirely different island. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, what, what's the upkeep on this? 9,600 a week? You know, I can actually afford that. Let's... See if I can reasonably expect to keep this operational if I were to accept it and keep it. Um, right there. It wouldn't really look very appropriate off of my farm, so I think let's build a suitable location for it. We got stuck in the snow earlier going to my cousin's, but thankfully not far from her place, so nearby neighbors were super nice, teamed up with me to help get the car moving again. That's awesome, CD. Um, let's see. So that's all done. do that, but we I don't think we're going to use that style of road for this. Go with something. We'll do two-lane road with grass median and bicycle lanes for this stretch. Signify we're going to be getting out of the suburbs a little bit. We're going to go into a, a more developed area for other purposes. Come down here, just... Okay. Well, there we go. Where did we put that Hadron Collider? Oh, where'd you go? There you are. You to hop across the uh, water here.
Wow, they don't like it. Why don't they like it? What's wrong with you people? This is a thing of beauty. Look at it. Now, I think since it seems like that might play a role, it's it's kind of counting as an educational building somehow. We have here, this is our, our trade school campus area. Liberal Arts College campus area. University campus area. Varsity sports. Museums? What? Great school reputation prestigious for the technology museum. The art gallery. Liberal arts reputation prestigious. Science center. University reputation prestigious. Oh, man. I haven't done a lot with the universities either, I guess. Okay, so maybe this is just a unique building then? Modern Technology Institute. Spa Hotel. Ooh. We should maybe consider having one of those in town. Football Stadium. Festival Area. Media Broadcasting Building. Silver City, oh my god. That's a, a Cineplex chain up here in Canada. Transport Tower. They were happy, then immediately got mad, yeah. Yep. Opera House. Maybe do an Opera House. Requirement for building the Space Elevator. Canadian Tire. Expo Center. Oh, we're going to need an Expo Center. Trade shows and conferences attract visitors from near and fire. Requirement for building the space elevator. High Interest Tower. The High Interest Tower is indeed high. Many companies like to have offices in it because of the lovely view. Requirement for building the medical center. Ziggurat Garden. To get the most of the sunlight available, the Ziggurat Garden has to form a stair pyramid with plenty of room for different plants. Citizens enjoy coming to the garden to take a walk amidst the greenery. There were so many unique buildings I'd never look at. Cathedral of Plentitude. Central Park. Statue of Colossalus. Gula's... Emily Arena. Okay, so I have no clue whatsoever where this Hadron Collider comes from, but that's okay. We're gonna edit our bus routes, I think. Edit our bus routes just a little bit. Uh, where, where, um, where are you? There you are. Okay. Gonna come down. Put one right there. Don't you worry, guys. Put that back right near where it was. Gonna have another stop here and another stop here. So don't you fret. You're gonna be fine. In fact, I might shift these. That there. Oh, come on. Everybody should be still in easy walking distance of everything. Ah, oh, crap. We have ads in progress and they're nearly done. I'm so sorry, folks.
Welcome back. Sorry, folks who got ads. I apologize, but listen to the sounds of those dings. There may have been a wave of disappointment when I plopped this down in their backyard, but man, it's doing wonders for property values in the area. I am going to... Extend this down on... 12, just so that I have an idea. Trees, there we go. Over there, there, there. So thank you, Winters. I see that that was you that put that up there. Now, we haven't really been paying enough attention to the stock exchange. We still have to earn more money until we get more stuff. So let's manage our current investments. We are currently invested in the very legit company, and we stand to make a small fortune we sell. So let's sell. No. Seriously, let's sell. Okay. So that gets... Ah, that did it. That's more than enough. Your stock exchange has reached level two. The following buildings have been unlocked. The Bronze Cow, the Bronze Panda, and a small bank. Okay, so let me now take a quick look, because we've never built banks before. A small bank for the financial needs of a small commercial area. Comes with a small fleet of cash transport vans that collect money and reduce the crime rate in commercial zone buildings. We only have the one significant commercial zone area, so this is probably going to go in here somewhere. Let's put this in right... Go there. That will be the Butler Street thing. actually starting to get kind of a crowded area feel so I'm thinking it might be time to upgrade some of these roads a little further we're gonna make that four lanes and then what route do they use to get to the the um, So they're going down the Butler Street. Like 
God, listen to the upgrade sounds. Holy crap. Wait. Where are you going? You're going back to the bank? <laughs> oh, I guess what they're doing is they're collecting money from commercial entities, bringing it to the bank for storage. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to upgrade some more roads. We're going to upgrade some of these to six lane. It's right around there. That's good. Then we're going to do... That's going to go up to four lane. That's going to be four lane. That's going to be four lane. And oh my god, I think that's still a dirt road. Are you... No, it's not a dirt road. It just has a couple of bus stops on it. Okay, so we're going to do that. Most of these cars seem to be going down there, so I'm going to upgrade this one as well. Skyline popping up everywhere. What the? <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Okay, so where's the more significant commercial entities we've got here? Oh, down here. This strip down here could use a bank for sure. Um, that on the corner. At the Dexter Bank. My favorite things about this Christmas was getting the chance for the first time to play some Atari with Dad for the first time. Talk about an amazing, surreal experience, considering how far gaming has come. I believe it. That's got to be weird going back that far in gaming history, but also really cool. I'm glad you got to do that. Had the chance to play some real sports football with Dad, then follow that up with Madden 23 on your Series X. Dad hadn't seen it before because he's never been a big gamer anyway. He was amazed. That's so cool. Oh, I need to really intersection. So we don't need this. Good.
that works. I think that works. Hey, Bob. <clears throat> Welcome on in. Getting so many achievements in your game today. Payday 2. Very nice. I hope that's going well. Sounds like it's going well. Health looking. Healthcare availability is good. Average health honestly could be better. I think maybe I will use a clinic in this area. I think in, this looks like a nice, attractive spot for one. Right by a bus stop, too. Very helpful there. I don't know that the time is right to build a massive hospital yet, but that time could come pretty quickly. Um, child health is good. Elder health. Did we build another facility here? General Hospital, Medical Lab, Crypto Preservatory. This controversial building stores the clinically deceased until the technology becomes available to revive them. Cryonics allows living matter to be preserved for extended periods of time. Bodies are lowered into underground nitrogen tanks, after which their temperature is lowered to minus 190 degrees, 196 degrees centigrade. Plastic Surgery Center. To be fair, I'm not sure what it amazed Dad more. The graphics on my Series X or the fact that my Atari systems still work. There, that's fair. Now, I thought there was a sauna. Not, oh, there is. We can do saunas. Okay. Up one in. And we'll do another one. Like spot. Here. Sorry, neighborhood shop. It's for the greater good. I love that. Disable University Boost. Enable this option to prevent the Hadron Collider from providing university education. We already have a university. We don't need that. Actually, you know... Oh, man. I don't know. That's healthcare. Healthcare is looking good. How is death care? We really need crematoriums. Luckily, it's looking like we're closing in on the requirement. Uh, healthcare? Oh, improving already. 75%, 76. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're getting better there, too. That's going up. That's good. Um. Things seem to be settling out and improving here as well. That. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, that doesn't look like it's needed anymore, thankfully. 
Neither does this, so we can get rid of that. Save us a small amount of money. This should not be necessary, because that's there and it's still working. cemeteries, and that seems to be doing the job for now. Sixty-five. That was a little more than halfway full. So we don't need a new one yet. Overview of our land values here. Okay. Value. Look at that. Oh my god. So we need to increase the. We don't really need to increase the value here, but here. Ideally, we would like to increase the value. So, let's take a look at what we might do there. Robot invasion imminent. What are we lacking? Not enough workers. Okay, it's actually uneducated workers that we're lacking. So you know what? That actually makes me think maybe good disable the city boot. We should look at our districting. We take these three blocks here. Make them a separate district. alarm of it. So we're going to make a new district just covering those three. For now. Sunset Square, just its policies. Citizens will prefer working over education and only a small portion of eligible citizens will go to study in university. So we're gonna enable that one, just so that we've got a certain number of uh, people that still end up going here. And then we still have a fair demand for residential. So I'm going to take some of the... Oh, actually. Is this bit here included in my designate? Included up. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to rezone some of this high density. And we've got a fair amount of commercial demand. come along both sides here and build that whole thing in. Is there a particular reason you are setting it up that way? By that I mean the separate district. Yes. So that I can specify that one specific Sunset Square district is going to be, uh, it, it's going to have the schools out thing applied. I don't want, you know, everybody in my city to just suddenly not want to go to university. So it's going to be this area in particular that just, you know, really doesn't go there very much. Some of them will, but most of them won't. In fact, I might expand that a little bit. That's going to have enough impact because or those neighborhoods those blocks as well now it's gonna take time for that to kick in that's not an overnight sort of thing but that will eventually kick in and uh, have an impact It's just because we've got this, you know, sort of hard industry area down here that prefers, needs a lot of relatively low education workers. And we're just educating too much of the city because I tend to be pretty good at educating cities. And that actually leads to problems. That leads to problems down the road. Now, what I could also maybe do is see if I can tackle it from the other side. If we look at, say, and square here. My fi This is meta male accumulation. For profit education, wow. Book fair. The local public libraries organize a book fair. That helps. Industrial space plant. Allow zoned industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws. Doubles the amount of goods produced by zoned industry buildings, but increases the upkeep of zoned industrial buildings. Turns homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. Filter industrial waste. Zoned industrial buildings need to filter their waste, making them pollute the ground a lot less. Workers' Union. The Workers' Union has a strong presence in the city. It provides the workers with better benefits and increases their morale, but also reduces tax income. See, none of this really... Industry 4.0. None of what we've looked at so far really impacts anything we've been talking about. The new technologies alter the nature of industrial workforce. All industrial workplaces are for well and highly... Oh! Okay. 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 Industry 4.0. Kent Square is getting it. The Orville is getting it. That will take care of this problem, and that means we don't need to put any kind of you know, services, no. 
Forget that. That's a terrible idea. Educate the crap out of everyone. They are too smart. Don't want the boring job someone still has to do. That's pretty much exactly it, honestly. I mean, these places, they will hire people with more education than is required, but it's hard to convince them to do that. Like, it's hard to convince the workers to come work those jobs. So we're just going to do Industry 4.0. Instead of discouraging people from learning, we're going to use technology to eliminate the... You know, make the jobs better for people that have more education. That'll do the trick nicely. I end up thinking maybe we need more snow plows in this city. Uh, so with that in mind, we get industrial road. Uh, we have ads starting soon, so actually, put that in. I'm going to kill the audio, and I'm going to take my first break, and I'll be back in a few. Wait, it's done? Oh. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to get you. Don't you think? Oh! Where the hell did he come from? I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot and no one's likely to find him. That leaves these four that I have to take out. Before any of them can sound an alarm. So far so good, I haven't died yet. Not going out then. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you wanna play it! Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health too, so this is kind of toothless. Nice. There you go. There you go. What, this one here? This is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away.
What? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. going to build another M. So we're going to take this out another 12. Upper block. Go up and down 12. There. Oh, I can do road maintenance too. Right. Do that there and do this here. And these guys are going to want water and they might appreciate heat as well. Thank you, Winters. Thank you, CD. So, good. I like seeing little bits of traffic here and there around as well. Really cool. I am still kind of debating whether or not I should maybe do something different here. Have an overpass or something to get across that train line. It's looking a little nuts. was minus 20 coming home earlier. The seat warmer was working its butt off. I believe it. My fireplace is working its butt off. Maybe a little too much, actually. I'm actually kind of warm.
You know, I'm just wondering if I can improve efficiency here. Kind of thinking... I might be if I were to reverse this. with something here. Give this a try and see what happens. Give priority here. It's going to take a while for this to sort itself out because none of these cars had the option of going down this way or not. So it's not going to be obvious what the impact is until most of this clears up. Didn't have seat warmers in my aunt's last car. A fairly recent new thing is that being in a Michigan winter, I very much appreciate. Yep, I have had seat warmers here in Canada too. They are very nice.
Okay, you know what? I might actually... I'm gonna think of this as being temporary. But just because we are waiting for all of this to backlog, and this backlog is actually causing this to back up. Put that on a perfect light. I don't like to do. We're gonna do it anyway. Actually, if we've got that many cars backed up, instead of using an industrial road, it'd be worth turning that into a four lane. Now, another nice thing I got for Christmas, a replacement for my Fitbit. See? Now I've got the Sense 2. My uh, family was inspired by November's incident, so... So that's kind of cool. I'm going to have to learn more about it. But I like it so far, except I need a better... I need a better strap for it. I'm not sure this has helped as much as I was thinking it was going to, honestly. Still an awful lot of traffic coming down here. I guess it's... It's a fair bit of traffic coming this way. Why are you backed? Oh, you're backed up at this... Okay. Okay. Where is all the traffic coming from? This entire area is just complete gridlock. Oh, crap. I don't like the fact that it just comes down to this little bit here and then the bridge ends. I think I might have to redo this. to do that 
instead. Do you have a cool new tech toy as well? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, that's helped a lot here. Now let's see if we can get that clear too and maybe find out what's going on here. And I need to, now that I've upgraded roads, I need to look at these intersections as well. Let's us unlock a new area. We get the Liberal Arts College campus area. New policies for visiting scholars. Uh, stuff associated with liberal. Uh, oh, we get. Oh. Okay. We get crematoriums, water treatment plants. Lots of good stuff here. Lots and lots of good stuff. Excellent. A large water tower. So if we want a UFO sitting in our uh, city, we can do that. Ah. Uh, very nice. Next grand city, once we hit 16,000 people, that'll give us a few good things too. Including a third loan, which we shouldn't need because we're swimming in cash at this point. seems slow to close out. I might put that back to being on a graphic light, actually. Oh, but look at this. That technology 4.0, I think that has dramatically improved this area. We don't have nearly as many complaints about not enough workers. Look at all those active smokestacks. Seems like a thing to be happy about, but there you go. If sponges didn't grow in the ocean, do you think it would be deeper? Well played, sir. And I see you have redeemed a terrible pun or dad joke. I can do that. Just one moment. Alright, this is appropriate given the area of the city we've been working in. How does a hunter catch a train? Follows its tracks. So very sorry. Only not really. Traffic snarl here, too. And the 
why are these guys all trying to get up this way? It's going vehicles, ink or public transit, transport, and cargo. Oh, we have trucks going that way. You know, I think we may need... Yeah, those are trucks trying to carry cargo to this area of the city. Which is honestly a little weird they could get off the highway here and save some time. There's really not much I can do to make this route more appealing, too, because it's so long around. Well, maybe one thing I can do. I'm gonna suck for these commercial buildings. I apologize in advance, folks. But. Oh, actually, no. Oh, it... Right length, or width rather. So, we upgrade you. Oh, it did suck. Sorry. Sorry about your houses. Bring that to B. are going to have to upgrade to this seems to have become a major thoroughfare I might need to upgrade this to the wider width as well be done can be fun. Uh, yeah, that's kind of nasty. Quite traditionally, I tend to avoid grid cities, but you can work with it. I'm still not fully sure how water towers actually function. One day I won't get distracted and might actually look that up. Thank you, California. Uh, oh my god. I think we've been neglecting our transit network. Let's dark blue. This line. Twenty-five. Why is this so popular? What on earth?
473 riders per week and 18 tourists were actually getting tourists. Give this an articulated bus. And uh, just so we keep things consistent, I'll do the same for the nine line. It look unnecessary. Where does that go? Huh? Okay. And that many passengers and it just goes around this little area? What the heck? That's got to be transfers from the metro going down here more. And they're just riding around somewhere. Oh, we have ads in progress. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's an... Uh, Wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Oh my god. Damn it, and Stara! Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Make a little help here. You gain XP for cleaning things up? That's actually kind of cool. There you go. Alright, sorry about that, folks you didn't miss too terribly much okay now you are right Vera Johnson also how are you doing Vera Johnson I hope you're doing well I hope you had a wonderful holiday that is a hell of a lot of people for such a tiny service area something's going on there hang on okay where is this I need to get a better view of what's happening with people so we've got a massive crush of people right here. Where the heck are people going? Okay. Public transport and cargo. So they're going down around here. Transferring some of them over there. Yeah, a lot of them are using the, the metro. None of them are using this, oddly enough.
there. Need to adjust my bust roots. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna Okay, oh, I've already got a couple of stops there. 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 I don't really... We want stops on this main thoroughfare here. Dead. Let's kind of detour around and get their original stop back. here and here, but I don't think I need anything in this area. Otherwise, I've got to stop here, which should be good for most of this. And here... Oh, yeah, I think this area is pretty well covered. I would kind of like one up around this commercial area. I think... And I'm going to set up a bus line for down here, which I, I've already got the metro here. One there. 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 There and back. And we'll go there. There. Hard for me to imagine that getting a lot of use, but got to try something. This is still back. How do I install free mods to cities? I use the Steam Workshop for City Skylines. You just go to the workshop, uh, subscribe to the mod you want to use, and then in the content manager from the main menu of the game, ensure that the mod is activated. And then that's it. You're done.
traffic in this area is just freaking evil. I don't understand why everything is so terrible. I wonder if maybe... We need a video tutorial to understand what you just said. Uh, problem is, it's a little beyond the scope of the stream for me to try to go through and demonstrate all of that. Have you never used the Steam Workshop before? Because honestly, I'm actually thinking, you know, a video tutorial would probably not be the worst idea ever. It would probably explain it really quickly and really easily. I have this terrible, terrible feeling that a four lane road is just not gonna cut it for this area. Crescent? Oh! Level 4! What? Clothing factory, farm maintenance building, large barn, slaughterhouse. I like the clothing factory. Let's have a look at that. I was, I was done focusing on that part. Our agriculture industry. Where's the... Oh, we can do a bakery. That sounds delicious. Wouldn't love the delicious smell of a freshly baked donut early in the morning. Bakery produces tasty go nuts donuts and takes care of the curves of your citizens. The bakery requires animal products, crops, and flour special goods to produce its tasty pastries. Unique factories can be placed outside of the industry area. So if we wanted to do that, we'll probably put that somewhere in this general area. Then we've got the Lemonade Factory, which I know uses ore products as well. It's one of the reasons I started building this area. This is just atrocious, though. I'm going to give that a bit of time to settle through, but this hasn't settled through yet, so I don't know what hope we have here. Uh, there actually is a series I can recommend. Now, I don't think I've seen any of the videos that he's done about modding, but I know he has done some. Let me just find City Planner Plays. One moment. Okay. This is the link to a specific video, but it's the first in a whole playlist that he has doing the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to City Skylines. This is a guy who is an actual urban planner who plays city builders, and he's amazing at city skylines. Never used the Steam Workshop, but I'm in the Steam app. Is that the same thing? No, the Workshop is a part of the app. Every game that you play, or virtually every game that you play on Steam, has a Workshop area. Uh, where community people can upload mods and assets and stuff like that, and that's where you go to subscribe to all that stuff. But check out this video, take a look at the rest of the videos in his playlist for it, 
uh, and just, well, honestly, just watch them all because they're really good. But this guy, he's he's really, really good at explaining stuff about City Skylines, and he could probably do a much better job of explaining modding than I could. Let me see also if I can find... I think... So if you go there, that should be the workshop link for City Skylines in Steam. Now, if you click that link, it's going to open in your browser. I don't know if that's going to help you any, but it's a start at least. Maybe you use Steam through the browser. I don't know. I use the app. Maybe what I can try doing is modify speed limits. If I lower speed limits for the internal roads here. Instead of, oh, actually I probably want to get that one. Um, okay, so all the internal roads now have a speed limit of 30. And if I increase these ones to 60, the ones on the outside of the area, they're only going to use the internal roads here if they absolutely have to. They're going to prefer to stick to the faster roads as much as they can. No problem, California. Now that might not do anything whatsoever, because it's a small area, and they may not have much in the way of choice with regards to the roads they choose to go on. But we'll see if that does anything. Or truck. What I would love, I should do, actually. Oh.
got here. One way industrial room. So now what I'm going to do, a little crazy, but I'm going to go around this entire freeway, this avenue, and we're going to massively increase speed. It'll basically be like having a highway all around the island, only... Actually, I don't even think highways have a speed limit of 120. I think they cap that at 100. By default, at least, unless you change it. So, we're going to see how this works. This avenue may become significantly more popular, at least in areas. I doubt you'll have people traveling all across, you know, around the entire perimeter very often. But if they can use it on their route, they're probably going to prefer to use it in at least some instances. Just because it is so fast. Just a little more. There we go. So I'm hoping they'll start using this instead of going there. But we'll see. That's potentially a good sign. Oh, also. that it's starting to get popular already. Yep. Okay, they're starting to prefer this for getting out of the area now. That's what I was hoping for.
Now, I could have a problem here, potentially. <laughs> we'll see how that happens, how that works out. running out of water. What's going on? Ooh, okay. I think we may need to revisit our water systems. Inland Eco Water Treatment Plant. Why can't I do just the regular Eco Water Treatment Plant? You need 26,000 people? Yikes. But you can do the inland one. That's honestly a bit weird. We're gonna put water treatment over here, I think. Because I don't have much of anything else in mind for this area. Two-minute warning on ads, folks. So we're going to take another break in just a short bit. This will be a proper break. Things look good here. A little bit smoggy. Still kind of backed up. Definitely much clearer here. Still very backed up all along here. God, I wish I could figure this one out. Okay, it might be this area here in part, so let's maybe take a look at... ...getting that segment there.
Oh god, this is such a mess too. Oh, Jesus. No, I'm, I'm gonna resist the urge to upgrade absolutely everything. Let's wait and see how this plays out when that gets... You know, when everything clears through. We've had a chance to estimate how successful this change has been. Then we'll see about maybe doing some upgrading elsewhere. For now, we'll see how this works. Can't help but notice we still have an awful lot of people here. But that may just be because the traffic snarls are so bad, the buses haven't been able to make the rounds yet. Once everything's flowing better, we'll see. Oh, shoot. Ads are in progress. I even knew about that. I'll be back in a moment. That worked better than I thought. Damn it. Oh, we have a thing. You don't scare me. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Back. Oh, you, got? you dumb fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. Oh my God! They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan McLeod. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Jim.
maybe I can relieve a little bit of the pressure by upgrading some of these other streets. Also curious about one thing. This is not the way I would normally prefer to do it, but I would love to try and provide the entrance. Yeah, see that looks horrific. See how it goes. Ooh. <laughs> ah, I hate it. Ew. Let's not do that. I can't do that. That's terrible. I kind of like that one either. I think what we're going to do is a ground level ramp. It's going to come right off here, around to here. Then from here, we're going to. Looks weird, but it's better. Looks like perfectly safe intersections. One would think, wouldn't one? Gonna take a while to have any kind of real impact. Ah, okay. Actually, some of them are starting to take trips this way now already. That's good. The thing I don't love about it is I can't really get from this highway this lane without going around the roundabout or something. Even do it. Let's see. Come around here. You get off here. You go here. Then you're on this way going up. almost have to just hop off here, turn around, and make your way back onto the other side. Go around here and go down. Let's 
still really jammed up. Oh, this is one of our buses. Oh, it's actually getting used. Attention, Library of Lore. A 42-month resub has just come in. This is life, the universe, and everything. Halera, make a special note, please. Garug, thank you so much for reaching the ultimate sub number. Thank you for 42 freaking months. That's amazing. How are you doing tonight? It's so good to see you. Setting up a lurk? No problem. Enjoy your lurk. I appreciate it so much. Okay, actually, you know, I didn't think this bus line was going to be worth it, but it looks like it actually is worth it. Excuse me, game? What do you mean, collapsed? Oh my god, Jarek, damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Jarek. Wow. Uh, it was a live and learn training center by the looks of it. So it doesn't look like a, you know, it, it was a pop-up building. It's one of the normal sort of office towers that just appeared. So not especially important, but it means that now we've got to wait for the emergency disaster relief crew to come down and inspect the site, rescue anybody that's left alive inside the collapsed building. It's like, oh, there they are. They're on the scene now. They're checking it out. They will give the okay for the building to be rebuilt. There it goes. Ready for rebuilding. And so now I don't have to do anything about that. New building will pop up on its own. I don't have to bulldoze the site or anything. Oh. No more room. Shoot. Snow melt away. Okay, we'll maybe set up another one then. Gonna be lurking on and off. Was just not expecting that collapse to just pow in an instant like that. Oh yeah, it can happen fast. All right, how's our traffic? Oh my God, that's looking so much better. Look at that. Holy crap, it's fixed. Let's not look over here, but this is fixed. This is still horrific. I really think I maybe need to rethink this area. Violent Night was... Oh, you watched that one, Greeny. You enjoyed that one, did you? Interesting. Alright, you know what? I have something more drastic in mind. I think I have an idea. On here, we're gonna have to sacrifice those rocks, unfortunately. I'm just gonna come right down and jumping up there.
David Harbour is Santa Claus and a big hammer because, of course, Santa was original the Viking. Awesome. Okay, this isn't going to solve anything right away, but I'm hoping this will serve as a little bit of a relief valve for at least some of its traffic, although most of it's trying to get over here, so I don't know if that's really help. Gurung, thank you for the power plant. Nuclear power. I wasn't talking to you. Google thought that was for her. Okay. Nuclear power plant. Where is that going to go? I guess that can go over here. I guess that's probably gonna need... No, it's our power and water. Okay, good. Oh, it is power. Awesome. Thank you very much, Tagaron. Now that's producing 640 megawatts. Expensive upkeep, but our money is ridiculously through the roof, so we're okay there. Support it. Not sure this has really helped a whole lot. Actually, you know, I take it back. I think it might have helped a little. This might be another good candidate for a traffic light. Try to... Try to... Strain the chaos a bit. sure the chaos is constraining. Actually, it does seem to have helped up here a bit. God, why is this all back up? Well, that's also on a traffic light. I guess that explains that. Look 
think it's moving on anyway. It is gonna work. I might do. Give that a little while to really see the effects, but so far... Okay. Still looks... Let's see. This looks better. That looks hard to tell, but I think it looks better. I hope everyone had a good holiday, or a good day if it's not a holiday for you. This is starting to look like a pretty good city. And we've actually got more demand for industrial than anything else right now, so maybe we need to expand this a little bit. Orville looking. Uh, where's the main building of Orville? Okay, so we are importing everything, but that's by design. We don't have any ore to actually extract and process ourselves. That's one of the problems with the traffic, is we get massive loads of trains coming in with imported goods, and then all the goods have to get from the train station to this one stockpile. So we've got metals, we output that, we aren't outputting any ore, which is output, outputting metal. Used resource units until next level. Workers until next level. We've got enough workers. It's just a waiting game. So, upgrade will happen. Just a question of time. Once they output a little bit more. Group logistics, work safety security. Industry 4.0 as well. Got a little bit of time. Let's look over here. Oh, God, this looks so much better. Okay, so we fixed that issue. 
Where else do we have traffic issues that we need to address? That's heavy, but that doesn't look backed up. It looks like things are flowing. That's a little backed up. Let's on here. That could maybe be upgraded. just this area over here, so we're looking generally pretty good. Now we do have area back here, space back here, that we use to expand industry. So, start off with a little bit of You know, we'll start off with a little bit of office expansion. Down here. in this area already. Let's go there. Faster connections to highway here. Let's just verify that my highway speed it is not. And we've got ads starting in about a minute, actually, so now that we've got that settled in, probably a good time to uh, take another quick ad break. Not a proper break, just a quick break. So I'm going to pause this, and I will be back shortly. So we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? <laughs> wait, wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson between friends. Get to the 
top and secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. There we go. That was so okay. much better. Now how to get out of here? Oh, what's going on? That's not how you barbecue. Greeny. Look at that. I think we've got it more or less managed. Okay. First official taste. Double oak is pretty nice. I think I like the copper pot better, but the double oak is not bad. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, we can buy more land. Where would I want to buy land? If I get this one here, this island, it becomes much easier to use because I've already got two sections of it between these two bits here. This would give me the remainder of the highway connection. So it would give me more room to build, you know, an exit off the highway. I would also get more of the rail connection and I get this entire second island free or, you know, as part of the bundle. Kind of leaning towards this one. Thank you, Mad. Do it. Not that I've started actually using any of these other islands that I have access to yet. But that's maybe something that we that are doing soon. So check for natural resource presence, like we can do some oil over here. We could if I had gotten that part of the island. This whole island here just beyond my reach is covered in oil so i'm like you know pretty top of my game for completely avoiding all the natural resources there's ore over here that could have fed our industry for a while and over here too so i managed to take exactly the land that just it's all of that so great Thank you, Mad. I hope you did as well. I hope everyone had a good holiday. If 
you celebrate a holiday. My Christmas was pretty good. I got a new Fitbit that does a lot more stuff than my Charge 5 did. So I've now got the Sense2 smartwatch from Fitbit. Um, my family, you know, they were kind of inspired by my episode in November. So I've got that. I got the new iPad, which I'm pretty happy with. And... I mean, that's mostly it, but that's cool. I'm certainly... You know, that, that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's a hell of a successful Christmas. To say nothing of all the good food and everything. The one bad thing about it is, uh, since we had this whole major farm and everything, we weren't really able to get together with family. So we had to do a FaceTime Christmas, which is why I ended up getting the iPad. Uh, some of my extended family a little further out wanted to make sure that FaceTime Christmases were easier to accomplish. So, I am now tasked with mastering FaceTime. You're still pretty happy? That is an awesome hat. Freaking amazing hat, Greeny. I love that hat. It's so good. So, the iPad, it's part gift, but not entirely for me. It's partly a gift for the rest of my family who expect me to work. But that's okay. Okay, I can't believe how successful that was in taking care of a lot of the issues with the traffic we had here. That's so much better now. Look at that. Really, really nice. Average traffic flow is actually kind of bad. 75%, I can say, oh, what on earth? Oh, Jesus, okay. I didn't consider how many people might need to go this direction. E. Hang on, hang on. We can do better than this, folks. upgrade that to a two-lane highway, I think. Adjust our arrowing, so, oh, never mind, no need, already done. And we need to check our speed. 20, 120, why are you... Better. There we go. I got a Benjamin Franklin in Steam cards, basically. If anyone doesn't know, that's a hundred bucks. Nice, Bob. I don't pay attention to Steam cards. Maybe I really should. What the heck? Oh, just Josh. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Well, that cleared out very nicely. That's a lot better. Okay, but now let's... Oh, is that on a... We don't want that to be on a stoplight. That to be
Yeah, I noticed the photos, Greeny. That looks so cool. Custom-made stuff like that is so really... Ugh. There's nothing like it. They took the time to design that, right? And uh, actually go out and have it created for you. That kind of stuff is the best. like the entire length of the avenue around the island is now get seeing pretty good usage. Makes me very happy. Speed limit increase was pretty good. Okay, now look. It's been a while since we paid attention to Bedford Heights and our Crescent Ranch. Looks like we're doing pretty okay here. Except we're outputting an awful lot of crops. We really want to be outputting flour. Now, I think we need a specific factory. What? So, oh, these are the warehouse yards. We can do large warehouses. That's cool. Bakery. I'm gonna want a bakery. I was looking at that earlier. I was kind of thinking maybe down here. Okay. God, how big is this? What is this? Oh, right, the lemonade factory is gargantuan. Look at the size of that. That's a lemonade factory. Lemonade. Clothing factory, also fairly large. What does this one do? Her new apparel is a clothing brand known for its high quality materials and flawless fashion sense. The clothing factory needs animal products, crops, and plastic special goods to produce the Pernu apparel quality clothing. Unique factories can be placed outside of industry area. So we don't have plastics. I'm not sure which industry provides plastics. It's probably, actually, that's a lie. It's gotta be petroleum, it's gotta be the oil. We don't do that in the city yet, so maybe we'll have to look at that later. That'll have to be another import one though. And I'll have to lay it out a little bit better than I originally did the one we've got for ores. Uh, right. Is it something in here, maybe? Farm main building. We can put farm work. Uh, probably here. gonna go all the way over to here is that yeah, oh that even that's residential that's not good so we can't do it on that side it's got to be over this way put that right there not in industry area well we can fix that Lemonade factory fit for all the lemons life, also known as crowd control, throws at them. 
It's not a target. Not a target. Oh, that was the farm maintenance building. Oh, we needed one of those anyway. We'll put the barracks over here. Medium fruit greenhouse. Flour mill, that's what we want. Okay. Flour mill is a processing building which requires crops to produce a special good, flour. Flour mills grind crops into flour and package it for transportation. Processing building needs to be placed inside the industry area, so we're going to need more road. a target why is it made of things that go boom wow finally a good place to rest after a long day in the fields worker farm life all right what else have we got so we've got the flour mill got the metal shed we don't actually do we actually have any animal yes we do it's fit somewhere oh perfect Cattle sheds are well-ventilated buildings used to raise cattle and provide them shelter against harsh weather. This processing building requires crops to produce farming special goods, animal products. Processing building needs to be placed inside industry area. Uh, then milking parlor. I guess we should consider having one of those. Go here. Slaughterhouse. I don't know that I necessarily want one of those just because we don't have a lot of cattle pasture. Large barn over here. Okay, so we're starting to output flour and more animal products. Oh, wait a minute. Why do you have a heat warning? What the heck? Oh! Okay. <laughs> connected to water, but there's a break in the pipe, so it's only got the water pipe full connection. heated water.
Okay, so this island is actually starting to fill up a bit. Now, I'm still kind of thinking this is probably a pretty good area for us to have a university. Now, I know we've actually got a university. Technically, too, if you count the uh, Hadron Collider over there. We built a university over here. It's only temporary. Elementary availability is looking pretty... What the hell? What? Capacity 1,900,000? One million two thousand. <laughs> uh, what? Okay. Um, so that's apparently what they mean by take care of your education needs with the Hadron Collider. You'll never need to build another school. Holy crap. I don't know if I actually like that. <laughs> you can only turn off the university boost, not the elementary and high school boosts. Damn. I like placing the schools and decorating the areas around them and putting in parks and things like that. I might actually get rid of this and just take the money for, uh, you know, the demolition. Holy crap! I'm gonna have a think about that one. Let's take a look at the rest of our needs for the time being. Power availability is ludicrous because of the nuclear power plant, but not a million ludicrous. <laughs> You're not kidding. That's a little excessive, I think. Heating looks fine. Industry areas look fine. Hell. Heal capacity 200. That's looking like uh, we're doing good. Healthcare availability. Good. Average health has improved significantly. Really happy about that. Death care, cemetery usage sent. Oh, we've got available we we have crematoriums available. So I need to consider putting some That's technically a lot more than the amount of citizens have in the city in total. Yes it is. Child care, average health, 85%, also up significantly. That's really good. Elder care, 78, pretty good. Down to only one six senior. Very nice. So in health respects, we're doing pretty good because we upgraded our facilities earlier. I put in a spa or two. I put in another clinic. I think we're, we're, we're doing pretty all right there. Fire. Hazard 39. I would love for that to improve. We do have the fire helichoppers. We do have the fire station, I think. Oh, we could do a high capacity fire station, but I think be alright for now. give this area its own dedicated little fire station. And because I'm feeling generous. Station 2.
here. Oh. Traffic. There he is. Set up traffic lights and I. Speed. Uh, listen to that. This was such a struggle bus area earlier, and now it's just it's thriving. I love it. Okay, why are you slowing and stopping? What's going on? Well, there we are. Okay, so, okay, that's maybe one change I should make. Um... Depending on what way they're turning, they can hold up the entire column of vehicles. So, these exits out onto the main thoroughfare here. I'm gonna upgrade these four lanes. Good. Yeah. That's so much better. Look at that. That's way better. Now the people turning left are not impacting all the people turning right, and everything flows so much better. Perfect. too easy for stuff to get here or okay you know what it is I think part of why it cleared up is probably because we weren't getting a massive influx of imported goods and now it looks like we've got a million trains coming in again okay. oh and we have ads in progress so I'm gonna take another quick break I'll be back in a few so just uh, give me a few and I'll be back shortly. Watch out for that. <sighs> okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. I need more oxygen plants. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, thanks. Got that. I think I'm gonna die again. Oh. I have no idea how to get out of here. I'm so dead. I'm so far down. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. What? What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it. And it looks like... They know. Well... 
Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. That's camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although... <laughs> well... That was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here. Because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway. Which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or... I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. So far so good, I haven't died yet. Not going out back. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you wanna play it! <laughs> It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right. Now just a bit more. Mm. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. You don't see that every day. I think that cow is walking on the ceiling. It must be part spider. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers your question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. I love the really close-up view. from Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater. I guess this way it is. Alright, I'm back. You mad. I think if there's any way I can things better. All these goods coming in here. 
Wait a minute, what's happening here? All these... One moment. So it's going this way, and it's split off, and it's going that way, too. Oh. Oh. They're going to this new barn I put in. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be a treat. At least, oh Jesus. <laughs> uh. Well. I improved it for half a minute at least. Thank you, Winters. Okay, I'm gonna worry about a different problem instead of that one for now. We're gonna get rid of that. I don't love the uh, school situation. I think I would rather deal with education the traditional way. Let that settle out. Okay, 900. That's more reasonable. And we still have plenty of capacity. We're good. We only have 29 eligible students. 2,000 capacity. We all... Oh, my God. The Hadron Collider, it must have graduated them too fast or something. It's going to take a while for the effects of that to go away. University at least looks okay. We've got 4,500 capacity and uh, we're, we're good there. Public library users. I still think we should have a library in this end of the city somewhere. We have space to put one in somewhere good. bed, honestly. Kind of a shame you weren't here for one little stretch of the stream yesterday, Winters. I had not one but two different people pop up in chat who were absolutely, utterly convinced that in the next few years, libraries are going to die because apparently nobody ever uses them and they serve no purpose in the internet world, according to these people. It was actually the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. They just could not conceive of libraries having a use today. And were skeptical when I told them that libraries are maybe more important nowadays than they ever have been in all of history. Oh, we've still got some issues going on, don't we? 
I wonder. To make those the same. That help any, I wonder. You did, Winters. I was kind of sad. I kept hoping you were gonna pop up out of Lurk or something like that while it was going on. There's only so much I can say about the, you know, the, the purpose and all that of libraries. I can defend it to my last breath, but I've never worked at one, so the perspective of someone who actually does would have been really, really handy. I wonder if there might be another way to help with this. This here. Give some extra room for things to back up through. Make it a little less tight. And actually, I might do the same with this warehouse as well. Put this further out. We're going to put it right there. Um, that is still Industry Road. Let's four lane instead. We've successfully disconnected this power line. That's fantastic. Which means we've disconnected most of the city from the nuclear power plant. Gonna lurk and get some sleep. Gonna head to Victoria Beast. Tomorrow, and the clipper is leaving very early. Have a good trip, Matt. I hope it goes well. What the heck is... What? What just happened? Okay, hang on. What's going on? 
Low land value? What? You have got to be kidding me. Status is okay, landfill usage is zero. It's funny because my state cut funding to school libraries and stopped hiring librarians and they're starting to realize how stupid that was and that putting a computer in every room and an iPad in every hand did not kill the value of a library, only made it more obvious. A library is more than a room full of books. Yeah, and that's... The one person in particular just absolutely could not get that idea out of his head. That libraries were basically just storage mediums. Like, I kept arguing until I was blue in the face that libraries have and make use of the internet. But... It, it was just not getting through. Every argument they made was grounded in the idea that libraries were dusty old things full of books, and that was about their only real value. It was ridiculous. Why? How do we have low land value? I'm so confused about this. Is it because I got rid of that freaking Hadron Collider thing? Maybe we can put in some more. I, I mean, this does not look like it's low land value. Bronze cow. Bronze panda. Oh, I did actually specifically want to do a winter market. Where would be good for that? Probably fairly large, so I might be a little out of luck. A lot of these are probably fairly large. Oh, it's not, not terrible. Kind of awkwardly large, honestly, but... We could put it here. Sanctuary, no. Oriental Pearl Tower. When you're looking for state-of-the-art modern office space, the Oriental Pearl Tower is your destination. This great building is the pride of any city. Oh, I didn't check the noise pollution of the winter market. Thanks. Hopefully it's not too bad. No, nope, none. Good. Does provide entertainment. Good night, gamer. How's it going? What's going on? It's good to see you. Here, that looks like residential. So we probably don't want to put that in there. But we could use the 
winter market as a nice buffer. Pick this. Grand office building land. to do a spa hotel as well. I was just talking to Tara about you earlier today and the fact that she might like a game that you play a lot, which is City Skylines. Very nice. I love this game. I'm even more addicted to it recently. I stopped playing it for a while and got back into it. So how was your holiday, Canuck? I hope you and Tara are doing pretty well. Hope you had a good one. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of this recently. Oh, now this one's reasonably sized. Pop this in, maybe... music festival area, although I think if we're going to do that, I'll probably have it oh god look at the noise area holy crap not doing that on this island bad crazy as usual with three boys we gave our oldest 12 what how is that possible 12 years old a new gaming mo mouse and keyboard combo and a new 24 inch monitor to connect to his laptop damn very nice that is oh i can't even think about that that age though. Holy crap. Statue of shopping. I think that should go in a more commercial style area, so maybe there. Meteorite park. <laughs> if we're gonna do a meteorite park, it's gotta be in this area. But we have too many homes in that area. I'm not going to do that. Transport Tower. Twelve on Halloween. Twelve, nine, and soon to be four. Oh, God. Time just does not slow down or stop ever. 
Do I know how you love your single player games? Will you be getting Hogwarts Legacy? No, I will not touch anything to do with Rowling anymore. The only way I could imagine playing Hogwarts Legacy is to end up with it in such a way that I don't have to pay a dime for it so that I'm not funding her at all. And even if I did, I would never stream it because I wouldn't want to promote it at all. The lungs of the city is a vast area filled with trees, providing the city with fresh, lovely air. Citizens visit the park and relax and see the magnificent. Part of me wants to give you a perfect location for Meteorite Park. I've already got one, Winters. Were you here earlier? Greeny called down a meteorite, which obliterated a large area right in here. Uh, she is a massively vocal opponent of LGBTQ rights, especially trans people. She is very vocal about it. She really, really... Oh, crap. Jared, what are you doing? Thank you, Jared. <laughs> uh... Well... At least it missed the city. Basically, she's proven herself to be a really horrific human being. And she just doubles down on it every single day, it seems like. You know, for the lungs of the city, that's not a very big park, but that's okay. Opera House. I think I'll save the Opera House for elsewhere. Oh, I wanted to do an Expo Center, but I think... Actually, it might work out... Oh, hang on. Expo Center. Is there a warning on that? Trade shows and conferences attract visitors from near and far. And that's a requirement for the space elevator. I also seem to remember there are some traffic issues that go with that, so I don't know that I necessarily want to build that right here. And I need to plan that one a little more. My interest tower is indeed high. Many companies like to have offices in it because of the lovely view requirement for building the medical center. That is a heck of a view. All is in here. Modern Art Museum. Fusion Power Plant. Central Park. Offers recreational activities for citizens. Its vast green spaces are relaxing and soothing to citizens wearied by busy city life. Time for me to look at my food situation? No problem. You do it. not doing that on this island either. I've never built so many unique buildings. Content creator packs. shopping center.
wouldn't be a bad one to have in this area near the actual rail yard. Shopping center with cinema. Elsewhere too, though. This ideally, won't be our only. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe it's time. Some passenger rail. So we're going to pop this in here. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kanak. A couple of HP references. First name is Griffin, and... Griffin's not so bad because that you can just tell people it's a mythological thing. Albus, I'm sure he's not the only one that's going to have to deal with that. That is unfortunate, though. I'm very sorry to hear that. were already fans before all that stuff happened and it's a good series for kids yeah and i don't think there's a problem with like just continuing to enjoy it as something that exists and has been written i mean that that's not the same as ongoing support of somebody who's done some terror or said and done some terrible things you know if you already bought the books then you already bought the books. You're not funding her additionally by reading them anymore, you know? You're not you're not doing any harm by watching the films if you already own them and etc. 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 I think all that's fine. Okay now. There. Something about those power wires we just clobbered actually is easier because now this train section, train station is uh, wired in. Quarter wire. There. Did, oh, pre ordered the game too. Oof. Well,
we would be getting it three days before it's released because we pre-ordered. Yeah. Not sure what to say there, but... It's a little more complicated when you've got kids, I guess. Especially kids that are already fans. Right here. that power line again. Yeah, the problem is she gets a gigantic financial piece of any project that involves Harry Potter. Not everybody realizes that. Yeah, you very definitely might end up with that problem if you did it, that's true. This will be our major tourist input valve into the city, at least for the time being. Eventually, we'll probably end up with a... Uh... Halera, did someone just use their one and only Twitch Prime subscription here at the library just now? That's wonderful. We appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that. That means a lot. You do only get the one every month. So thank you for using it here. This will be where a majority of tourists arrive. Most likely, anyway. Actually, that probably means... That's it. Bus stop right there. There, they're not going to get there easily on foot. Not been on Twitch for a while, keep forgetting about my Prime? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I forget about mine occasionally as well, and I'm on Twitch all the time. God, they've expanded the options here so much. 
an entrance to the underground metro with four parallel tracks ideal for busy areas of the city. Place metro stations first, connect them with metro tracks, and then plan the routes. Large underground metro station. Oh, that's cool. Elevated metro station with shops. Public transport hubs. Maybe I should have looked at this before I placed the station. Bus intercity bus hub. Watching lots of YouTube, the boys are really into Minecraft, so they got me watching different Minecraft YouTube vids. Yeah, I used to watch a lot of Minecraft YouTube vids, but I haven't really played Minecraft much in probably close to ten years. Well, that's a lie, but more like maybe six or seven years. Once the Twitch community for Minecraft started getting a bit toxic, that's when I started, you know, it didn't cause me to stop liking Minecraft or anything, but I did start watching it less and playing it less. Train Metro Hub. Exchange Hub, where one side of the road contains the train station, the other side the metro station. The two sides are connected by a glass bridge crossing over the road. Okay, you know what? I want to play with that. Let's see if that's easy to place. My next concern is which is which, train or metro. But we'll worry about that after we get it situated. Ah, so that's a bigger street too. That's okay. I think it's backwards. <laughs> I find myself going in and out of Minecraft every year or so, and usually it only lasts a few months. Tara got me a new keyboard for Christmas. You're still getting used to it. Oh no. Having to backspace loss. Not so... Not used to the placement of the enter key. Yeah, it's rough when you switch like that. Yeah, it's backwards. Okay. I'm happy to announce that we have a brand new lore seeker in the library. But thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's switch you around. Better. 
have yet to try City Skylines yet, and you do have it. Uh, I. This is one of those games. It's kind of like Minecraft is for you. I will go heavy into it for a while, and then I'll set it aside, and then I'll come back to it, and it starts all over again. But this is just one of those games that I can play for freaking ever. It's, I mean, it's so chill and so relaxing, and I just get so sunk into it, and it's beautiful. Right now, we need, um... This, let's... Curved road. Actually, let's do a curved road from further back and read. that entirely and uh, since that's going to be avenue I'll just connect that up with an avenue at anyway actually I wonder can we no okay so the road inside is locked to what it is. We can't change that. That's all right. I've played CS on and off for years, but I'm only just learning how to actually really play it and properly manage stuff like traffic after watching about 30,000 videos. Nothing personal in you, but I saw several of those videos and never saw how to add mods. I'm frustrated and about to give up. Uh, yeah, he would probably have one specific tutorial video on mods, so you'd have to look at the playlist and find one that goes into that. Because mostly it's a tutorial on how to play the game. Mods would be a specific topic that he'd go into on it. Alright, let's see how that works. Now, except we need to also connect up the metro station part of it. So, where's our metro? There we go. Bring that down to the underground. Tell me. I have room to bring this down underground, right? <laughs> Just do a straight track. Okay, good. There we go. I'm sure you're plenty smart, California. Just because you're not familiar with a thing doesn't mean you're not smart. Alright, this actually kind of complicates a little bit of our design, though.
Okay. I don't love that. Eventually, I think I'm going to expand the metro network so we can do more of a proper loop around and have two lines running opposing each other, but... For now, that's going to have to do. Let's run this for a while because I just added a crap ton of unique buildings. I think having that Hadron Collider kind of screwed us over on the land value thing because it inflated everything so much that now it's all crashed when I got rid of it. I probably should not have gotten rid of it. Yeah, California. Also, just remember, nothing is ever easy, or at least nothing ever seems easy, until you become familiar with it. Once you become familiar with it, I'm sure even nuclear fission is pretty easy. It's the unknown that's scary. The more you bash your head against it, the less unknown it becomes. Okay, what is going on with trash pickup? We're getting a lot of complaints about that. Centers are okay. Having trouble getting a. Okay. It's moving. Rosewood Pit has reached level two. Or industry workers barracks, industrial steel plant, glass manufacturing plant, or storage, mall or mine underground. Kinda like to have an industrial steel plant. Glass manufacturing plants use mined or raw materials to produce sheet glass that can then be used, for example, in manufacturing of windows or windshields. This process building, processing building requires ore to produce or special good glass. Processing buildings need to be placed inside of the industry area. I tried to install subscribe to ore storage. Why can't I see that added in my game? I am subscribed. You also have to go into the content manager in the game. That part I can show you pretty easily. Let me just save here. If I quit back to the main menu. Probably not a bad idea to save the game anyway. Uh, also, we've got three minutes before the next ad break starts. I'll try to keep an eye on the time and make sure that I go to clips before the ads begin so you don't miss anything. But this game, it does addict me pretty heavily and I sometimes miss it, so I'll, I'll do my best. So if you go, hang on, I did that too quickly. Right here from the main menu, if you go to this, your content manager, 
This is where you manage your maps, your saved games, any assets you have, which you can also get in the Steam Workshop, and right here, your mods. Now, there are some mods that are already built into the game, so for example, Unlimited Soil, Unlock All, etc, etc. Just because you have the mod doesn't mean it's enabled. You have to turn it on and it'll turn blue and glowy like this. That means when you load up your game or start a new game, that mod will be active, and that's how you use it. If you've gotten through the Steam Workshop and you've subscribed to the mod, that's the hard part. This is the easy part, so you're set. You should be good. Just going to turn that off again because I don't really want that. And we'll continue. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, Vikings, how are you doing? Merry Christmas, sir. You're doing well. We're just reloading here. I was demonstrating how to mod the game. So we're loading back in. Thinking I may have made a horrible mistake. My city is suffering a little bit of a crisis of land value. Just got home from dropping my mom off and dropping off some presents to your friends. Very nice. I hope it all went well. Garbage is piled up. I guess that could also be contributing. You can raise land value by building parks and removing polluting buildings nearby. I didn't think about that. that should be a problem, but that noise pollution. That exists, but is relatively light. Regular pollution. Only a concern in this area. It's that Hadron Collider. I really should have kept it. It's unfortunate. Oh well. So we may experience a little bit of a wave where uh, everything goes to crap and things may have upgraded beyond their means while I had the monument built. Getting rid of it has now left me with a bunch of overvalued buildings on land that isn't worth what it used to be. Oh, shoot. And, uh, also adds. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh, my God. shouldn't loot the bodies right away. <laughs> what in the world? This is why you're 
gotta be very careful tossing pebbles into wells. You might accidentally create a volcano. Okay. So what time is it now? 3.13. I guess I can officially stop wishing people a Merry Life Day and instead wish people a Happy Boxing Day. Thank you, Vikings. All right. What do you do about parks? Lots of parks in this area, though. Do some more in here. We already got here. I guess that's about a commercial. There's some space in here I haven't developed yet. The plaza. Oh, whoop. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. just have to wait for the whole city to collapse, I guess. Most of it, anyway. Oh, that's right, the stock market. Let me look at that again. Next level, 250k. The generic industry or industry. Traffic jelly? No, that's too high. Buy that. Very legit company. Even that's a little high. Crypto. Repair. Eric Industry. You know, of all of them, I'm thinking the very legit company might be the best buy. Followed your steps, but I don't see the mods I subscribed to. I don't see ore storage, but you subscribed. Um... Looks like ore storage is an asset. Yeah, try looking under the assets instead of the mods. Okay, let's buy that and see what happens. Go away and we'll do some other stuff in the meantime. Maybe what I'll do is I'll conduct a little experiment. I'm gonna think out those ones and see what happens when they repopulate. My guess is they're going to repopulate with homes that are a little more appropriate to the land values as they exist now. And so they won't have the land value tag on them. like that's exactly it okay so we're gonna have about a million buildings go abandoned that's gonna be fun it's a shame some of these are really nice looking buildings too
Okay, now that we put in more graphics stuff, this we don't have lights. But for here, we kind of want lights here. Definitely not here, though. And we need to examine our speed here, because that probably screwed everything up. Actually, no. It's good. Fine. Yes, here it starts. This is where I miss the mod that'll automatically bulldoze those buildings for you when they go abandoned. The uh, bulldoze city. Interesting one. What is this? Do few services. You are lying, sir. There's plenty of services. What the heck do you mean? Fire. Okay, you might be a little distant from medical. Probably drop in a clinic. Technically, the coverage zone for the police. Or industry. That I might be able to help you find. So, yeah, if you go here for garbage and industry, that's this brown one beside water. You've got your garbage stuff, then you've got forest industry, you've got farming industry, and you've got ore industry. It might be in here. You might find it under ore industry. There is also the possibility that it could be under warehouses or unique, probably not factories if it's storage. This would be my bet that it would be under ore uh, storage here. And then there's also, specifically, you can narrow it down to storage buildings by clicking one of these icons up here. They've got one for storage buildings. So my guess is this is probably where it's going to appear. And you don't have to click on that. It'll still appear just in the main list here. Like, we've still got sand storage and ore storage. But um, this just filters it so that it specifically shows only the ones that are storage buildings. Speaking of, though, storage building can be placed outside of industry area. It's good to know. Over here. God, this one's actually humongous. Not there. I have to reconnect power yet again. No, I don't. That's big enough that it linked up with the train station power grid. Okay, perfect. Services. That's a lie! You mean too few services. They've got fire and police right there. All I see in garbage are landfill and incineration plants. No other sub-tabs. Oh, are you playing the vanilla game? Ore storage is probably not going to be relevant to you if you don't have the Industries DLC.
So I don't know that the game would have anything, like, it, it wouldn't have any idea of what to do with that. Build more city services near this building. I wish you could get a little more specific than this. Personally, I think they're just lying through their teeth. Complaining for the sake of complaining. Oh, here it goes. Half the city up in smoke. This problem that I'm having, by the way, very unlikely you're ever going to experience this. This is because I'm a streamer and I'm running crowd control and somebody redeemed spawn a random monument. And it just so happened that it gave me a monument that ridiculously increased the value of the buildings in my city. So they all are up the land in my city. And so I kept the monument for a while. Then I realized that it was doing... Stuff I didn't want done to my education at this point in the city's growth. So I sold the monument, and then all of a sudden that boost to my land value went right down. And so now I'm suffering the consequences. So unless you're a streamer that happens to be doing a lot of crowd control stuff, probably not going to be a thing that you need to worry about. Sad. Garbage was on the brink last night, so I suppose it's possible. There we go. My landfill usage is zero, though. Oh, I guess that's because I don't really have any landfills anymore. I do have... Plenty of cycling, though. Replacing one of these. Where do I have my outflow again? Ah. It's going to be a while. Welcome to the bulldozing stream, guys. Bit. Oh, there we go. 
just a few seconds is all it took. monument thing explains a lot yeah i had the hadron collider monument it appeared randomly in my game and it was great until i noticed that it was artificially taking care of basically all of my elementary and high school needs and i enjoy building those around the city and so i didn't want that to be magically taken care of for me it allows you the option to turn off the ability to magically manage all of your university education needs but it gives you no choice about elementary and high school. It just, you know, it gives you, okay, we're going to be able to pretty much instantly educate up to a million citizens. And I thought that was pretty crazy. And so I deleted the Hadron Collider and now my whole city's going to crap. But it should be only temporary. We will bounce back from it. It's just going to be a lot of bulldozing and then everything has to rebuild and it'll be okay eventually. Terrible pun or dad joke. Here we go. All right, folks, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. There's a reason why they're called terrible puns and dad jokes. Please don't be expecting really good comedy gold here. Here's one for Greeny. I don't know if Greeny is still hanging around or lurking somewhere. What do you call a smart group of trees? A brain forest. There you go. Yep, a brain forest. Let's see if we can get you a monument that solves the problem without doing something OP like so. Oh God, what is this one? Medical Center. The Medical Center provides health care for the whole city. The Medical Center has a helipad and can accept helicopters. Okay, I like this one. This one should be good. I don't know if it's going to solve the problem. But I'm willing to take it. Thank you. Uh, except I've already used up the space that the other one is in. This one looks smaller, though. Extend our roadway. Okay, let's use... Is that bike lanes? No. Bike lanes. There we go. Thank you very much, Three Winters. I appreciate that. Um, kind of bringing it out into the area that I was going to use for the expansion of the agricultural area, but... That'll do. Oh, it's even... It's a water uh, Now the only problem is I need a helipad for medical stuff. I mean, that's not a real problem. We can do that. That's easy. Where's the helichoppers? Helicopter depot. There we go.
Rain, rain. Yes, exactly, Jarek. What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? The letter M. I like that one. That's a good riddle. side that was the one over in this area that was complaining about lack of services so it may be that they you know because it was a really really ridiculously high value one they might have been complaining about lack of services because maybe high value things just demand higher quality service that's my working theory at least okay a few seconds another a million buildings. Ah, uh, my poor city. Oops. And then there's this area. We'll just have to call this like Monument Valley or something. Deposit. I don't want to leave a million abandoned buildings around. If I leave them too long, it makes them easier to see so I can get rid of them, but it also invites a lot of crime. Thing here. This is worse than the meteor.
Oh my god. I'm testing a tip for you. I'm in the US, but it's telling me there's a 4% conversion rate. Does that mean they take a cut or is that just a currency converter? I, um, I'm honestly, I'm not certain. I mean, I appreciate the thought. If, if you're uncomfortable with it, please don't feel the need to do it. But I, I would expect the currency conversion Maybe it's a processing fee for the conversion, I don't know, but uh, the actual conversion rate from a U.S. to Canadian, it's normally a lot more than 4%. And it's not something, it's not a difference that you would pay, it's just the literal value of the actual currencies. Yeah, I think we're actually getting near the end of this apocalyptic nightmare that we're living in here. And now we've kind of got the bounce back problem where all of a sudden... Uh, we no longer have enough people living in the city to actually fill all the jobs. So that's fine. I'm sure we'll have no problem bouncing back from that. Wow, we're down to 9,999 people. We lost so much population. And it might take a while, actually, for it to recover, because demand for residential is low. Oh, that's unfortunate. Leave that for now. Oh, oh soon. Let's go have a look. All right. It's very legit company. Okay, so we... Yeah, that bounced way high. So if we sell now, we uh, we kind of cash in a bit. Do that. Oh. Wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. This is really hecking cool. Ferengi. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. That one caught me by surprise. But at least I actually caught it. 
So that's a plus. Thank you, Vikings. Okay, hopefully that's the worst of it. It looks like that's most of the buildings that were really suffering from the valuation problem. Oh man, with all that loss of population, my income has taken a hit too. At least it's still positive, that's a good thing. Okay, our population is recovering. We do have demand for commercial, though. Let's see what we can do there. I think some of this low-density commercial can be upgraded at this point. This isn't city core. It really be higher density than this. But I won't do much at once. We'll just do that. With all the Freemason taxation, I'm afraid not. Uh, basically, I think what you're looking at there are service charges. So it's always going to be like um, PayPal or Stream Elements. Whoever it is that has to use power and resources to process the tip is going to take a small cut of it. There's just no way around that, unfortunately. But uh, tips are always appreciated, never required, so if you can't do it, then that's fine. You don't need to do that. So that's building up, satisfying some of the demand, but not all. So I think we can get away with doing a little bit more. settles out. I like how we just have this one by one little office there. And actually that's a really neat looking building too. I like it a lot. That could be California. Honestly, I've never looked into it in detail enough to be comfortable answering that question because I just... 
you know, I get tips occasionally, but I've never needed to really go into those kinds of details. I'm pretty confident in saying, though, that it's got to be some sort of service charge, and it could very well be related to the fact that it's an international thing. But I don't want to try and say, yes, it's definitely We are this, fortunate to welcome thing. a new lore seeker to the library ranks. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, indeed. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the follow. Gord's regular tip. Check to make sure your fridge is still running. Yes. Especially if you're in a winter storm affected area that might suffer power outages. How are you doing, Lady Lunar? It's good to see you. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait for that to settle out now because it looks like we've pretty well exhausted the commercial demand. How many loonies to a liar? Oh my god. It's almost four in the morning. Don't ask me questions like that. Ugh. I'm gonna break my brain. Okay. So we had been well in advance of 3,000 people because we hit the big city. So we lost thousands of population. We're gonna have to wait for that to recover. <laughs> I'll ask. Oh god, thank you, Lady Lunar. Oh. I need to do another sweep. Yeah, now we're gonna have issues over here, too. It's time due to the depopulation. It's a bit early, I'm sure, but let's have a look at the stock exchange. Hey. Did I not? Oh, I, I just sold. Okay, never mind. Healthcare service fund might be okay. That's looking like it's on its way back up again. Ooh. If I may have your attention, thank you so much for the tip. Joduri, enter what? that into the records. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's really, really kind of you. Uh, where is my... Hang on. California, yeah. I, I just wanted to confirm, but thank you very much for the tip. There we go. Just needed my activity feed to be up there so I could see for sure. Jokes aside, I don't think the liar exists anymore, so do we use the final liar value, or can we convert it back from euros using that, using that current value? Thought liars were musical instruments? They can be both. Words are often used for multiple purposes. However, I don't think that that means that they were using musical instruments as currency. I might be wrong about that, but I don't believe that I am. Oh, 
Oh, man. I love the way the city is taking shape, even with all the interesting developments. So good. Stay with kazoos. Just a test tip, but it's a start, and I hope the lizard people are happy they got their cut. Well, since the lizard people are the ones who make it possible for me to get the tips in the first place, I understand if you're not too happy about it, but I'm okay with them taking a little bit. Ugh. Thank you very much for the uh, tip and the neck stretch. How's it going, Hammer? It's good to see you. closely at this. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Uh -oh. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately if any is available. This could be bad. I don't think anybody's responsible for this. I think this actually just legit happened in game. Yes, please go out into the water. Oh, 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 that. Ooh, this could be rough. I want a game that is all about diving into the Lizard People Illuminati conspiracy. I'm sure there must be a few of them out there already. station. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, never mind. It's decided to eat the bridge instead. Now it's going for the train bridge. One's just not enough. Oh, no, no, keep, take the bridge. Keep away from the new plant. Okay, let's see if I can repair these. Not just, no. Uh, fine. The poor city. Oh, they were gonna... Okay, I probably could have rebuilt it if I'd waited a few seconds, but oh well. Never mind, guys. I already took care of it. Thank you. How accurate is this game regarding tornadoes? I don't think they happen quite as often as this game depicts, but on the other hand... I think... Well, I mean, tornadoes are different. I mean, you can get ones that are really bad, and you can get ones that aren't so bad. Generally speaking, I think this is fairly severe ones, but you can get ones that are a lot worse than the game shows, too. All right. So I believe we had gone with four lane road with decorative trees and bicycle.
Okay, now these are highway bits. These were two lane. It's three lane. Repair the tracks. Really? Hang on, Lady Lunar. I see what. Here, there you go. Down here, about a hundred years ago, the city leader planted lots of trees so they would absorb and slow down tornado force winds. Those trees were accredited to why we survived a hurricane one year, in fact. So, of course, the local idiots cut them down for more businesses. Oh, God. Naturally, that's a thing they would do, because why not? All right. I think that's the worst of it. I think it was all just roads and bridges and our water system. So I got real lucky there. Oh, hang on. Nope. Not quite done yet. They were hiding down there. You guys got that one for free. You didn't have to redeem anything for that. Maybe we'll do that now and then. Actually, means that's not such a bad thing for... Oh, I'm actually... My income is getting back. That's a good thing. But uh, my, my disposable cash is a little limited right now. Earthquake sensor, tsunami warning buoy. Weather radar might be not be a terrible one. Of course, the chances that we get another random tor tornado as opposed to one that somebody redeemed. Not sure how good that is, but... Uh... Let's see. The weather radar keeps an eye on weather patterns, predicting thunderstorms and tornadoes. The radar sends out a warning if any threatening activity is spotted and tells you the area that will be affected. Forecast period, zero days. There we go. Now it's 14 days. Now, that's not going to be capable of warning me if somebody uses crowd control to summon a thunderstorm or a tornado. But if the game generates one, then it will know in advance that it's coming and be able to tell me. So I'm thinking, would the game do that? Like, if you put more trees, would it help stave off the tornadoes? Probably not. Probably not. Trees are really good for absorbing noise pollution, but that's, um, that's mostly it. And with the Industries DLC, they're also good for forestry. But I don't think they're going to have any effect on a tornado. Oh. Right. Check my speed limits. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately all my rebuild segments are back to their default values. I'm going to pop that back up again. There we 
go. So much effort and tornado ruins it. That's ah, okay. That's easy peasy compared to the apocalypse we just had. We lost thousands of inhabitants of the city because I had had a really, really powerful monument in the city that raised land values everywhere. And then I got rid of the monument, and all the land values plummeted, and all the things that had upgraded because of the increased value suddenly didn't have enough value to support them anymore, and so I had to spend a good several minutes just going through the city and bulldozing all the abandoned buildings. And we're still not even close to recovering from it yet. Although it looks like our commercial demand keeps going up again, so... Might be time to more trading of that. Probably over here this time. Look at that this time. Sounds like when real estate finally bursts here. Very similar, actually, Space Vikings. I had the Hadron Collider, if you're familiar with the game. I got rid of it because one of the effects of the Hadron Collider is it's a massive education boost. Having it in the city meant that it was basically a super school that would educate up to, you know, it would educate citizens with a capacity of a million students at the elementary school level, and at the high school level, and the university level. So basically everybody got educated really, really quickly. But the thing is, I enjoy building the elementary schools and the high schools and all of that, and so I didn't really want that going on. And while the Hadron Collider does allow you to turn off the effect for university level students, you have no choice about the elementary or the high school students. It just does it automatically. The only way to stop it was to delete the Hadron Collider, and so I did, only I didn't realize how much it was inflating the value, the uh, land values of the city as well. So, it's okay. We're gonna bounce back. Jessica, how are you doing? It's great to see you. Merry late day, sir. Happy Boxing Day, Jessica. I don't know about you, I think... Um, Canada might be one of the relatively few places that has Boxing Day, right? It's what we call the day after Christmas. I hope you're having a good one. I hope your Christmas was good, or whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate anything. I hope it was fantastic. It was on a family traveling kind of stuff? Oh, I hope it went well. A little past 1 a.m., time for bed. Have a fantastic night, Space Vikings. Uh, we're now officially after 4 o'clock in the morning for me, so I'm probably going to wrap up fairly shortly myself. I'm not nearly as exhausted as I was last night, but I don't want to push it. I have a lot to do tomorrow. Weird, why are you guys all stopping? Road. Oh, they're doing their pick a lane and not change it for anything thing, aren't they? We in America box whenever we want to. We don't restrict it to one day. But then, I mean, when do you bag stuff? You're just constantly boxing everything. Is it too late to jump aboard healthcare service fund train? That's a good point, actually. Let's have a look at our investment. We are. Healthcare service. Ooh, yeah, that looks a little too late, honestly. Definitely not that or that. No, everything's on the up. Ooh, oops, hang on. 
farming industry. Find that. That leaves us with a cool 867 bucks. We'll be fine. We also met two new puppies that were abandoned on the streets. Oh no. It took a while to gain their trust, but we did, and now my aunt is happy to have two new dogs around. That's amazing. That's really cool, Jessica. Laughed and ate a lot. That sounds really good. I had some pretty good food. Food is often the best part of the holidays. At some point, we're going to have to cross over and start doing stuff on some of these other islands. We've got most of this island to work with, except for that bit there. Most of this island. Chunk of these. Pretty much all of this one. Actually, literally all of this one. Elder care. But that didn't have to think. Actually, that's a weird place for elder care, though. That's right in the downtown core. Why did I do that? On that. I'm on the summer side of the world. Oh, that's true. It was terrible. We gave them a lot of water and to stay in the shadows and not be in the sun. Good. Oh, that's in progress. Hang on. Uh, I'm just going to cut to clips for probably the last time tonight. So I'll be back in a minute. Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. I am so confused. Oh, no, no, ah. down what the hell whoops sorry boom <laughs> oh god <laughs> what Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for your mental acceptance speech, kid. Oh my god, the timing. Hey. This is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. Okay. Sorry about that. That got a little messed up, but I'm back. Okay. That'll probably be the last break for the evening. Thank you, Jessica.
493 passenger service? Damn. I wish I knew how to get a tourist recap. Your visitors, 38 tourists, 34, not bad. Now, let me just refresh my memory here. I had set up a bus stop when we had the Hadron Collider. How is that looking for us right now? That could probably be better placed, actually. Fix that for our current config. You right over here. Actually, you know, no, that's probably good. Probably fine. Put that there. Let's do a little bit with arcs. Get some. Landscaping work. See if I can soften the terrain a little bit. chili peppers with my food. My wife thinks I am nuts. Well, if you can tolerate it. I've never tried a uh, raw habanero, but I like them in sauces and things. Patients zero, patients treated zero, ambulances use zero. Helicopters in use zero, so we're all pretty healthy here in the city. That's a good thing. Oh, we've regained a thousand of our lost population. Things are bouncing back slowly, but they are bouncing back. We're making our money back. Uh, that's actually speaking of. Gain 97,000, so that's not bad. There we go, back to over a million cash again. And oh, oh, we can upgrade. The stock exchange has reached level three. The following buildings have been unlocked. Large bank and elevated plaza.
So let's have a look here. Um, banks are here. A large bank with three variations for the financial needs of a large commercial area. Comes with a medium fleet of cash transport vans that collect money and reduce the crime rate in commercial zone buildings. So what I might do then is, uh, do I have another full-size camera? Got one down here. I've basically got a kind of big one over here. That's about the next largest one that I've got. It seems a little overkill for having a bank. Where's our current bank? Ah. That's it. Okay, so how big is the bank? I guess I could always just that one and put it in, in its place. Might fit. It's upgrading. Actually smaller. Okay, so, oh, actually, I, I overlooked one. I do have this area in here. I could certainly do a small bank over here. Oh, well, I should have moved it, but oh, well, there we go. Put that in there. It's fine. Be the Cypress Street Bank. What the heck? He just drove right over the median. Wow. Those cash vans, they do what they need to do regardless. this look in like they're regaining employees that's a good thing never did get our special building set up for the ore industry except for we have plenty of ore storage now I guess oh god we... okay Hey, Sketchy, it's going. How are you doing? We'll be wrapping up shortly, but, uh, yeah, okay, we do have some graphic low stuff going on. Twenty-six. Well, the Lonely Station is getting some use, at least. That's pretty good. Just bought your new laptop. That's exciting, Sketchy. How is it? Uh, 
passenger train transporting passengers to bears. 48 of 240. station looks really neat. Five hundred thirty five passenger service. Wow. We must be becoming kind of a tourism destination. curious about this bus line since I haven't really looked at it since we set it up. That's one of the more popular ones. That's definitely got to be tourism. Effect. Okay. Oh, it hasn't arrived yet. It's coming on Thursday. An Acer Aspire 5. Acer's a good brand. I like Acer. With a Ryzen 5 processor? Very cool. I really like the Ryzen processors, I have to say. Oh, maybe I should... Yeah. We're gonna make some modifications here. Take that and put you... There. Put you there. And um, there. There and oh, no. Oh. Mistake. Error. But undo there. That's better. It's actually doubly good because these stations will in effect it's a bit of a hike but people will be willing to walk that get to and from here if they need to. Although, I think they're probably a lot more inclined to just take the metro. Powerful enough for all of your Steam games, and maybe a certain emulator. Well, let's, let's not talk about that one. But that sounds awesome, and I hope it works out for you. That's really exciting. to find one of the buses on this route. Probably also redo the line colors. Oh, there's one. Says there's an abandoned building. Where to go?
Hmm. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Okay, heating. What's wrong? Water availability, water tank usage. Ah, uh, okay. We're finally starting to run out of heating capacity in our geothermal system. It's okay, we can fix this. That's awful close to the roadside there, but all right, I'll accept it. It's not that sketchy. I didn't know what one you were talking about. It's just that uh, emulators in general are kind of a gray area. And I prefer that we don't talk about them on stream. going over here just paid 10,000 chirper crypto coins for some pizza okay fine I will take your hint game let me take a look at the stock exchange again and that building's gotten big kind of a shame we've got these massive towers right in front of it tax bonus plus four percent investment gains until there's a level four wow all right, what do we got now? Healthcare service fund or industry traffic jelly. The very legit company. Death care service fund. Have at least three death care buildings in the city. Oh, that's right. We still haven't put down any incinerators. We need to do that at some point. Uh, have at least 30 weekly airplane passengers in the city for chirp air. That's going to take a while. Forestry industry have at least 200 squares of forest industry buildings. We're not doing that yet. Oil industry, chirpy cruises, 50 weekly cruise ship passengers. We do have chirper crypto, which is not worth buying right now. But greasy gasoline looks like it's pretty good again. It's, yeah, it's, um, it's the new DLC that's added to financial districts and the stock exchange and investment trading and stuff like that. One of the fictional trading things you can invest in is a cryptocurrency, or for crypto. All right, guys, I think we're well on our way to bouncing back. It's gonna be a bit of a slow road, but we're getting there. The city is looking amazing. I love how it looks. I love how it's growing. Can't say it has much appeal for me. Financial Districts is the one DLC you don't own. Well, I'm enjoying it, but your mileage may, of course, vary. I'm not going to say, oh, you absolutely must get it. I mean, you know, do what you want to do. I will say there's fun to be had, and I really do like the banks. 
the banks are pretty fun. However, it's now after 4.30 in the morning. I think this is where I save and we go find somebody to raid. So if you guys wouldn't mind coming along, I would really appreciate that. Good to put on a good showing for people. Get out of here. Thank you, Sketchy. Let me see. We have live. I'm pretty sure we have at least a couple of targets. So it looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some more Steel Rising. That uh, It sounds like that is kind of a Soulsborne type game from the people who made another game called Greedfall. And then he with Mandy is still working on her playthrough of The Witcher 3. What if Julia is playing The Sims 4? And that's about it. So we've really only got the three targets. We've got Lax with Steel Rising, Mandy with The Witcher, and Julia with The Sims. So if there's any particular streamer or game in that list that you would love to go visit, just let me know in chat. I can't guarantee you that your suggestion will dictate where we go, but it will certainly influence where we go. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jarek. Thank you, everybody, for being here and hanging out. Uh, I know that you could be pretty much anywhere online and doing whatever you want, especially now during the holidays and during such rough weather, and it really means a lot that you decided for whatever reason that this was a place that appealed to you and was worth spending your time. So thank you for that. Thank you, Jarek. Um, all right, nobody's jumping in with any recommendations, so I think we went with Lax last night. Go visit Mandy and see how the Witcher playthrough is going. I'll load up her channel and make sure she's not on a break or something. No worries, Jarek. Go where you need to go. We're going to stop in and see Mandy. Okay, looks like she's actively playing, so let me get you her link and the raid call. So Tea with Mandy's a good friend of the channel. She's also the team leader of Team Stay Cozy, one of the stream teams that I'm a part of. She's real good people with real good vibes in her channel and knows a lot of really awesome people. I can pretty much guarantee if you like comfy, cozy streams, she's going to be the top of your list. So let's get over there and see how her playthrough of The Witcher is going. This is not her first playthrough, it's a second. So uh, she kind of knows what she's doing. So uh, we'll see how things are going for her over there. How she's enjoying the re-experience of it. And I will be back tomorrow night. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. Uh, we might do some more cities or we might work on some Dwarf Fortress stuff. Whatever it is, though, you know it's going to be a good time. So I hope to see it back for whatever we end up doing. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. Let me get you the raid call first. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Art Emote and Wave Emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can raid in the raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote that feels fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, maybe Twitch themselves have some emotes you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want you want to hear it'll so yeah we're gonna go visit mandy see what she's up to and i'll catch you again tomorrow. right so have a wonderful rest of the evening whatever it is where you are in the world I'll catch you again real soon they're destroying everything there they are yes they're destroying everything f6 to release grip on rope just one moment. It's time to welcome a new lore seeker to the library. Thank you for the follows. You release your grip on the rope. This has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging of gravity. Whoa. Whoa. 
What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> 